Hi, I'm Jean Schumacher, founder of Simply Plant Based, and where I have a lot of programs to help you to change your health destiny. And I have my partner in crime back with me, Nancy Matthews, who is the starch queen of hearts. So welcome back, Nancy. Thanks, Jean. How have you been? Spectacular. Awesome. It feels good to be back. I'm excited to, uh, to be here with you and everybody. Remain calm. <laughs> the starch queens are back in the house. <laughs> you are funny. You are That's funny. funny. My daughter gave this to me for Christmas. I, I just, or my, no, Mother's Day. This is Mother's Day present. It's so much fun. All so, right. Jean, let's talk about smoothies. Let's. Let's well, talk about smoothies. Mixed positions about this. Smoothies. I mean, I'm even wearing a green t-shirt because it's like, it's, do we smoothie? Do we don't smoothie? What's the smoothie take for the day? Because there's been so much talk about smoothies over my journey in the plant, uh, my plant-based journey. I started with green smoothies. My mother-in-law, who's um, an Adventist, she's been doing green smoothies. She's got one of those super old Vitamixes. That they were like a, uh, a uh, stainless steel tube thing. And it's like, she still got it. And <laughs> so, you know, she, they've been doing smoothies for years. And then we hear like, you know, I want to do a smoothie. But you, you have been doing a green smoothie a day. Right. Tell me about your green smoothies. Well, about I mean, the, about just, the sm go ahead. <laughs> We're so excited. <laughs> we haven't been out much. I know. I have a bit of, I, I've been under uh, uh, buying a new house, renovating, and uh, I need to get out more. <laughs> oh, and, and also we've been in this, you know, COVID lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think there's all that controversy about not drinking your calories, you know, that kind of thing. Right. So, I mean, I, I, along my journey, you know, I also, you know, like you, I was told not to drink my calories. So, it, you know, and that's kind of how I always thought, you know, we need to start the digestive process up here in the mouth. You start chewing, you get it down into the stomach, you know, that whole business and that whole part of it. And so that's kind of the philosophy I think you and I have gone with, yep. you know, as we've gone along. So, but very much so. Yeah, but, you know, I had connected with Dr. David Deneyev. He's an internist specializing in lifestyle medicine. Right. And he helped Eric Adams, the Brooklyn Borough president. And, you know, he, he's helped a lot of people along the way. So he well, started, we interviewed him. We and did. People, we have. People, people can go to your YouTube channel and look for that interview with Dr. David Deneyev, yep. where, he, where we talk about smoothies. Great information. It is great information. Absolutely. And he's, he's just a fount of knowledge. I mean, really, he, he really, he knows his stuff. So, well, I have a question for you. You ready? Go for it. So I, I know because a yeah, little birdie told me that you started having a smoothie a day. What, yeah. what made you change? Well, going to see Dr. David today. So you became and a patient. So I became a patient of his, Okay, you know, okay. and mm -hmm. so one of the things he wanted me to do was to add a smoothie to my diet. And I'm like, really? You know, and I'm, you know, all my head, I've got all this, you know, stuff Controversy. going on. Controversy. Yeah. And I'm like, really? Now, you and I, you and I are both plant-based. I mean, we are diehard. 100%. 100%. I mean, a cheat for me might be, okay, I'm going to have a few nuts, you know, a few more right. nuts or... You know, I might have some air pop popcorn or something like that because we know those are high caloric density foods. But, you know, for the most part, we are plant-based, you know, I mean, I shouldn't but say But a nut, nuts are still plant-based, yeah. 100%, but, I mean, but, but... Those are higher you, caloric density foods. Well, you know me, I've always said my spirit animal is a squirrel, so... <laughs> Mine's a raccoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when those come out, baby, you know, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, and I think just doing that, I think, you know, or thinking about those things, those right. are cheats for, for me, you right. know, that I'm having right. something higher caloric density that I know that it's not going to help my weight loss, you know, right. this, this whole program. But he started me on the smoothie and it was, I, honest to goodness, I saw such phenomenal changes, you know, in, in myself. 
Dr. Deneev is, uh, you had mentioned he's board certified lifestyle medicine and Eric Adams, he's had great success with Dr. Oh, yeah. Deneev, hasn't he? So, all right. So does he recommend a smoothie that's greens or fruit? What is your smoothie a day look like that Dr. Oh, Deneev no. recommends? A boatload of greens. Yeah. Okay. I mean, fr yeah. fr from primarily greens. I mean, we're talking 16 ounces. This is this makes two smoothies, and I make it for my husband and myself. I've got the big 64 oh. ounce vitamins. So, so, so 16 ounces of greens in the smoothie. Wait, wait, wait. Back it up. I want I want people to understand. So you're making a 64 ounce smoothie in your big Vitamix. Yeah. And your smoothie is 32, 32 ounces. One quart. Yeah. Okay. One quart. Okay. That's what the recommendation is. 32 ounces of a right. green smoothie right. per day. Okay. So that's, you know, in, in my smoothie, that's eight ounces of greens, you know, 16 ounces for the 64 one. But gotcha. then, you know, you put a banana in, you put some blueberries in there, you know, but flaxseed. I added some amla powder for antioxidant. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal stuff. It tastes like crap, but oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yep. that's why we put it in yeah. smoothie because you don't taste it. Yeah. No. So. Uh. It's not good, but it's good for you. It is. <laughs> very, very highest in antioxidants. Really so, good. So, you know, that's what I'm drinking. And so it's, you know, there is, primarily, it's mostly greens. I mean, it looks like swamp grass. <laughs> I mean, right. You know. it's right. It's <laughs> definitely green. I call green. it the mean green machine. You know, right. Right. Smoothie machine kind of thing. So. Well, so I've got, a, I've got another, I've got a little list of questions I'm going to ask Jean because Jean has just been doing this now. Jean, how long have you been doing the daily, uh, the group smoothie a day? Uh, gosh, I start, I want to say I started in like January, somewhere so, around there. Wow. So almost so, six months. So we've yeah. actually got a period of time now that we can, right. that we can talk about how you've, uh, how, how, how this has worked for you. So, right. so is your smoothie that you have every day, is it, um, is it a meal? When do you have your smoothie? So I have it in the morning. It's, you know, I, I, prior to this, I really didn't do breakfast. I did a lot of intermittent fasting, you know, and usually I wouldn't start eating until like 12, one o'clock, somewhere in there. But so when I get up first thing in the morning, I make the smoothie and, you know, I make it for my husband, I make it for myself. And then that has, and oh my God, you're like full. I mean, there's so much fiber in there. You just don't want to eat anything. So usually I don't have my first meal till like, you know, one o'clock oh, or so. Okay. So there, know. so it's very filling. Oh yeah. Okay. It so that's really, really filling. So that's the difference so, between say having green juice like I'm having right, right now right. versus having a smoothie that you still have the fiber. The fiber makes the, is a huge difference. Huge, okay. huge difference. Right. So, so with the smoothie, you're getting the juice that's in right. the, in the greens and you're also getting the fiber. So that's well, what makes it a more filling smoothie, a more absolutely. meal, more, more like a meal. Well, and you're getting, it's hyper alimentation. You're getting so many nutrients and, you know, it's a big bang for your buck. I mean, like right. you're putting right. a phenomenal amount of greens in there. You would never eat that amount of greens. I mean, that's a no. pound of greens. Right. You know, you're not going to eat that in one sitting. Well, there's a lot of talk about alkalinity versus acidic. So in a, you having, you know, being a, a teacher in chemistry, what right. does the composition look like for the, the pH alkalinity conversation? Is, uh, what's well, the smoothie do there? Well, the smoothie is going to be alkaline. You exactly. mean our, our bloodstream is alkaline. It has right. a pH of 7.35 to 7.4. It's that precise. Wow. And so anything that you put into your body, you're going to have to alkalize. So if you don't have to alkalize it, hey, life Check is that good. off the list, right? Exactly. So right. you're not going to have to put as much effort. Not only that, but you're going to start to see changes in your body as well. Exactly. <laughs> on that note, in the last six months, <laughs> right. on that note, in the last six months, when you started this smoothie, right. you were kind of got thinking this is way too much like a, a dessert. What changes have you seen over the last six months in your body? I want to say something right now to our the viewers that are going to watch this. Jean and I haven't done a Starch Queens video 
in over a year. And Jean, I can see, I can see how your body has changed. I can see your collarbones, yeah. your neck, your body composition has changed significantly. You look radiant. Oh, your skin you. is beautiful. And I, I just, I can't compliment you enough on, on how healthy and, and glowing you look. So power to the green, sister. Hey, I'm tell us, what, tell you. us, tell us what's changed in your body. Well, the first thing, cause like, you know, as I mentioned before, you and I were both diehard plant-based people. No, it starts it up. So yeah. yeah. So my food didn't change. So the only thing that changed was the smoothie. That was the only change in my diet. So I have a scale and I started off with, it's a Weight Watcher scale, <laughs> which I find ironic. Yeah, I've had one. I've had, I mean, I've had a couple of them. This buy Costco goes in the shopping cart. Well, right, exactly. So this one measured your, not only your weight, but it measured your body fat weight. It measured your body fat, your body water, and your bone mass. I did not so, have that one. So that one was, and that's what we've been, that's what I've been weighing myself on, you know, up until a little bit ago. So I, now I started to see my bone mass going down before I started the smoothie. My bone mass was like around Ooh. six ish, 6.6, around 6.6, .6, somewhere in there. And it had gotten down to 5.5. So I that's, was seeing a decrease. That's a whole my, point. I, pfft, yeah. So I was starting to see a decrease in my bone mass and that was starting to worry me a lot. That's and something that anybody that's aging yeah. must consider. Exactly. So bone mass was a big concern. Once I started the smoothies, my bone mass started going up. Okay. Tell, tell, point, tell me why, why, why would your bone mass go up just by drinking a smoothie? I'm so glad you asked. You're great. Hey, girl. Oh, well, what do I do? <laughs> so I'm consuming a lot of calcium. There is, in, in greens, what? there's a phenomenal no. amount of calcium. I thought calcium was in dairy cow milk. Gee, yeah, what are you no, talking no. about? No. Tell me Actually, about the calcium in that green. What? Tell me about the calcium in the greens. Where does that come so, from? I mean, well, the calcium comes from the soil. <laughs> And it goes up through the roots and into the plants, the animals, <laughs> exactly. the plants. And that's where, you know, the calcium goes into that. Yeah. That's the middle man. Yeah. Right. The bypassing. middle man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we're bypassing that. So I'm seeing a huge right. change in my bone mass. So it's gone back up to 6.7 was the last time when I wow. measured it on that in scale. In six months. Yeah, in six months. So, you know, the other big, huge change that I saw was hydration. Now, you and I are both phenomenal water drinkers, water or tea, you know. Yeah. Always. I mean, this is 30, 30 ounces of water right here. I mean, I probably was drinking, you know, about 60 ounces a day, more or less. Right. And so, you know, I added the smoothie and I wasn't drinking as much as I was before. Okay. I clearly not the, the 60 ounces for sure. And right. so this I've noticed I'm drinking less of water or tea because that's all I drink. And I've noticed less of, you know, I'm, I'm consuming less of that, but my, my body water, my hydration level went up. And it went up from like 49, so that was before mm. the change, to right. about 53.5, okay, that's, that's a, in terms that's of a, percent. Wow. So that was huge. That was a big change. And I'm not drinking as much. I mean, I still drink a lot. I mean, I always have a, a cup of water with me, but I don't find myself sipping it as much as I do or slamming it down. So that was a huge change as well. That's amazing. So, I mean, I remember Dr. Deneev talking about when we interviewed him, how the greens, the water that's in the green is absorbs to the kidneys more efficiently. So it increases your hydration. And so for example, in your green smoothie, your 64 ounce container, you've got it cram packed with greens. How much water do you put in your smoothie when you make it. So do you fill it up with 64 ounces of water? No, so, no, no. You're the, the bulk start, of the liquids coming from the greens. Yeah. 
That's a lot the of the key liquid. element there. Yeah. And, it, and you've got that fiber to slow down the absorption of it because I think when we're drinking the water like this, you right. know, in this, this form, and yes, it goes in and yes, it helps, but it goes in and comes right back out. Right. You know? Right. And, and the water here is great. It keeps us alive, but it, what it's doing is there's no, there's nothing there. There's no nutrients there. There's, you know, hydration, which we have right. to have that comes with water, but there's no micronutrients. There's no calcium. There's none of the, I'm uh, drinking liquid. less liquid now Yeah, and my hydration has gone up. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy because we've yeah. got that fiber to slow it down, the absorption of it so that you can, because I always think of it like a, a tsunami. Like when you're drinking a lot of water at one shot, it's kind of like going through your system and your body's like, yeah, just let, pfft, let's get this out. When it's going through at a slower rate, you know, your body's absorbing it, I think, a lot better and processing it better. Well, that's exactly what yeah. Dr. Danaev was saying. So that's amazing. So, so you, I have some questions for Gina. We actually just talked about the hydration. So what other changes do you see? With well, the other smooth- one was body fat. Now, I hadn't really changed what else I, you know, I was eating. I mean, it was pretty much eating still the same stuff, but my body fat was starting to go down. So let me, I want to back, back it up. So you're still eating a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Right. The only thing you've changed right. is adding this morning green smoothie. Right. Wow. And your body fat changed. So my body fat started going down. So I, I was delighted. I mean, like yeah. it went down quite a bit, a significant amount. So I was thrilled, you know, absolutely thrilled. So is this the visceral fat? Is this, uh, is, you know, well, there's, it, doesn't, it doesn't distinguish. Is, it, does, it doesn't distinguish. So, you know, fat's fat, fat as far fat. as, okay. In terms okay. of the scale measuring. In terms it. of the scale. Okay. okay. So, you know, what was interesting is David Deneyev, you know, he says, I like this. I see your, your changes. That's good that you're doing this, but this is not as accurate, you know, in terms of what I'd like to see. The Weight Watcher scale. The Weight Watcher scale. Mm-hmm. So I said, indeed. And what would you like to see me have? Yeah, that sounds expensive. <laughs> I know. So he said, because he, you know, he's like, yeah, well, and, and he talked about the scale that he had, which was the Tanita scale. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, I have this in my office. And I'm like, well, how much was that? And he's like, $5,000. And I'm like, David, um, no, <laughs> I'm not buying that. And he's like, yes, but that is for a professional. This is not. Scale trip to Europe. Yeah. <laughs> right? The scale's right. going this way. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm like David. I'm not buying a five thousand dollars scale. He's like, no, 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 no. That's a that's a professional commercial scale that I have in my office. And I said, okay. And so I went on the scale. I went onto the website and looked and found one. I found the Tanita RD901, which is called the Plus Iron Man. Ooh. But the thing about this that is different from the Weight Watcher scale was the Weight Watcher scale was only measuring with one frequency. And what they do is it sends this low frequency through your body and with only one frequency. This one has multiple frequencies that it's sending through your body. It's a, a low, low amount, but they compare each other. So the readings are much more accurate. Okay. So that scale, the Weight Watcher scale, only measured those four variables. This one oh. measures 11. Okay. That's a, big, that's a lot more. Uh, yeah, but it measures your weight, your body fat, your muscle mass, your muscle quality, the physique rating, your bone mass, your visceral fat, your basal metabolic rate. That's huge. Your, yes, your be- your metabolic age, your total body water, and your BMI. So it measures your- 11 features and functions. So when I first got on- Metabolic age? Yes. That's a, that's a, this is stuff that you don't normally think right. about. I know. You know, because being plant-based, we just think, okay, we're doing this to feel better, look right. better, have yeah. more energy. But we have to take, and you know, like we always say, peel back that onion, but we got to peel back the skin. Right. And we have, I always talk about our cell health. 
and our metabolic age is a driving factor yep. in our longevity. Well, I just turned 60 on my last birthday. Happy so, birthday. Thank you. I'm 57. So I was thrilled that when I first got on the scale, I was thrilled that my met metabolic age was 50. It's now okay. down to 37. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. You're aging 37. backwards? I so this green, backwards. This green smoothie, along with a whole food plant-based yeah. lifestyle, no oil, right. is reversing your age, your metabolic age. Yes. Not chronological. Can't, can't reverse yeah. that. Yeah. Well, no. I am working on a time machine, just so you know. Good to know. Oh, you yeah. and Nick, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Nick well, has been working yeah. out in the shed. Yeah. Renovation update. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. but really, yeah, well, fifty to thirty. I'm just kind yeah. of like dumbstruck right now. I know, I know. I mean, oh when God. I first got on the scale, and, and wait, know. this is not staged, Jean. I have not heard. This is the first time I've heard these numbers, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. Well, when I first got on the scale, I didn't quite, you know, because my body fat it was measuring it a lot more accurately. Let's say I like the Weight Watchers scale better. There's something about being lied to, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, so I think this is a lot more accurate and, you know, it's giving me a much better picture of myself, you know, a true picture of that. But so, again, the truth is what we have to have if we're going to, if we're going to, well, we're going to act upon it and make the improvements that we need. So it's true. It's true. Yeah. So, so I, I have to tell you one other change that happened from the smoothie. Okay. Oh, and it is your bowel function. Let me just tell you, first of all, you're going to have some epic dumps. I, there's, just, there's just no other way to gracefully say it. Well, power to the smoothie. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, um, what's interesting is, I don't know if you'll be able to see hear this in the replay, but Nick's air compressor just started up and it's sounding a little <laughs> interesting when you're talking about the toilet. <laughs> it's kind of like Edith and Archie. Remember that let's show? Talk you about get that. the toilet flush. No, exactly. So let's talk about that. Let's, I mean, this is, this is a, a, a real thing that we have to talk about because people do have issues with the bathroom. There's constipation. Well, yeah, this no, is this is, you're not going to have issues with constipation. Especially putting the flaxseed in there, that's going to help move things right along. But the other thing that changed was the color. And it's, it's you know, it's turned by my, the solid waste is turned like a dark green-ish right. color, you know, about the same color, a little bit darker than the smoothie when it went in, you know. So it's kind of like your daily report card. But, and I also can tell, and it's interesting because I'm still, you know, obviously losing fat. <laughs> I can see it. slow. Epically yeah. slow. Mm -hmm. But, okay, I'm working. It's, it's a journey. And this is not something, because if, if I hear from one more person, oh, yeah, I went plant-based and lost 400 pounds overnight, I'm going to kill them. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's not the reality of the situation for most of us. Right. You know, it's usually I mean, a man that does that. I know. I know. Yeah. Just, just give them a, just somebody just give them a Primarin pill or something. Let them have some of that estrogen. Right. <laughs> right. I can tell the smell of it. Like if I'm releasing toxins, oh yeah. Oh baby. The smell, you can, wow. TMI. TMI. Wow. You but that happens. But that happens, right? right. It, I mean, I mean, when we have I mean, that storage, we have we're storing up all of those old hormones, old estrogens, things that the cow, that middle moo, ate before we ate. All of the, you know, just general toxins in our environment. It comes out. I away. mean, there's days when it yeah. doesn't smell hardly at all, but there are days when you're like, oh my god, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so in other words, a daily smoothie is, it's so health promoting right. and also twofold, you're detoxing. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're literally oh, sure. touching your body. So for sure. So it's that's to me is a super win win in a, a good enough reason alone to yeah. want to yeah. get this these chemicals and things that we don't want in our body out. So so why why do you think your bone density went up? I mean, do you really think it's just the calcium? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's that you're, you're consuming just, a phenomenal just, amount of calcium, and it's and it's in a, in a form that you can yeah. absorb quite well. Right. Yeah, I just kind of want to circle so, back to that again, really quick, so people understand that greens have calcium. Oh, phenomenal amount. Phenomenal. Yeah. So phenomenal. tell me about the scale, Jean. What kind of scale is it? You it's mentioned called, the name, but yeah. but but is it something somebody can order? They can. They can go on the website, Tanita. I think it's Tanita.com or something. They don't sell them directly, but they have people that do. And so they, you know, on the website, there's a link. When I bought it, it was on sale from whoever I bought it from. So it was about, I think it was about $160. Well, it's not, that's doable. So, I mean, it didn't break the bank, you know, right. I mean, I wasn't going to spend $5,000, you know, like David's. I mean, they have different levels of scale, right. but the one I found and I had called the company up and I said, you know, here's what I'm looking for, you know, and which one, what can you recommend for me? So I had a you know, little bit of a conversation and I finally settled on the RD901 plus Iron Man, whatever that is. So, so did you tell me before we started this that your scale talks to you? Oh, it does. It does. It connects to right. my cell phone. Right. So you can use it just without the cell phone, you know, okay. you can get on it. And right. you set it up, and it was pretty simple to use to set it up. My husband also uses it too, so you can have multi users. Oh, good. Know, more than one good. user. But it, the only thing that I did find that I didn't find that was in the directions was that each person had to sync their phone to it. You can't have like multi users on one cell phone, you know? Oh. Well, that's or, a privacy kind of thing, maybe. I don't know, whatever. But they yeah. didn't put that in the directions. So ah. I had to call the company and find out. Gotcha. So each person has to sync, has to download the app. There's an app that goes with it. And you can put in all the kinds of bells and whistles you want into the, into the app. You, you can track your food. You can track yada, yada, yada. You know, so the scale app. knows you when you whatever. step on it. it. How does it identify? So, so you, tell, you go onto the app. You go on and you click on it. And you say, weigh me. And it mm -hmm. turns the scale on for you. And when it goes Gosh. to zero, you step on. Right. And it measure and it says measurement done. And then you can look at it and say save or not. Mm -hmm. And and if it does, and it keeps track. And it you know, really compares cool. them. And then it puts it into a graph form. I was just gonna say must graph it then. Yeah, and then it graphs it. But what it does and what I don't like is I can only see one graph at a time. So what I did is I went into and I created a spreadsheet. So then I took the numbers because I have it right there on the scale and I put the numbers in across my spreadsheet. Well, that's good. So then I can see the changes, you know, right. in one shot. Okay. That's, one visual. And that's what I was going to say. Those visuals have so much, so much power. When you can right. see those, the graph changing, that speaks volumes. But I, I want to ask you about weighing. I know that when we did our Sarge Queens program, we recommended weighing once a month. Now, I just, have you read, I just finished Dr. Greger's How Not to Diet book, and part of the research that he went through while researching his book was it's been found through research that people should weigh twice a day. How often are you, yeah, twice a day twice a day and we really didn't recommend that because that number what happened to you when you started your smoothie a day you got on the scale even your smart scale what happened to you what's your what happened tell me about tell the, tell us what so what before your you brain know, I, when you stepped on the scale right so normally you know with my weight watcher scale i was just doing it once a month and I was getting my numbers and I could see the changes and it was big. You know, you could see the big changes happening. But when I got the new scale, I did it, you know, set up the scale and I weighed myself. And then I went back and weighed it about a week later. And I was like, oh, this is great. I'm seeing some great changes. My, my metabolic age went from 50 to 37. I'm like, 
wow. That I'm just, just blown, blown away. away by that. I know. So I'm like, this is awesome. This is really great. So then I started getting, you know, I'm like, you know, and I started increasing since school got out and I've stepped out of the brick and mortar classroom, right? right. So that's the end of 35 years of teaching, you know, basically. So now I'm working. Congratulations. I know. I'm working on a virtual program now with a pregnancy advantage with Dr. Deborah Shapiro and where I'm so excited, but my life is changing now. So I'm now increasing the amount of physical exercise. So I'm like, yes, I'm so, so I'm starting to see weight loss. You know, the scales are starting to go down. But then I got onto, onto the scale and I, and I went up like two pounds and I just freaked out, you know, and I'm like, wait, I've been doing everything. Everything's been right, you know, and I can see myself going like spiraling. Spiraling. Yeah. Because yeah, you, and I, and, you identified, you were thinking, I'm just this number. Exactly. And I didn't even go past the first number. All I saw was that I had gained weight. Two pounds. Not a lot, like two pounds, two pounds, but I was expecting it to have been another several pounds that I had lost right. because I had been out. I mean, we were doing some, some serious out walking, you know, uh, getting out there and really starting to get back into shape and stuff like that. So I really expected to see a decrease. And when I saw an increase, that was it. I shut down. And so I can't say that I would ever recommend to anybody, especially somebody who's dealing with food addiction, to get on and weigh themselves twice a day. That to yeah. me is absolutely insane. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I'm still, I still recommend in my weight loss program once a month, don't weigh in, don't tell us anything else. I don't want to hear about anybody's scale until we have the weigh in. And right. then we'll, we'll share your success. In the meantime, you can share these other non-scale victories. Right. You know, and that's one of the things, and especially that I talk about in the program is, especially if you're someone who's hung up on the numbers, to use string. String has no numbers. Right. And so what I recommend is you go underneath your breasts and measure, just take a piece of string and cut it, okay? And then the, you have a length. And then what I have on the back of one of my bureaus is I've got them taped up. So from, I measured just under my breasts, my waist and my hips. And you can see the changes for the length of the string. That's, that's, There's no that's, numbers like, there. that's like a graph. It's a, it's, it is. It's, a, it's a graph. It's beautiful. It is. So, so there's no numbers there yeah. so, because you can't, it's so hard. We've been so trained with every diet and everything else to focus on a number. And we're right. not just a number. We're not, you know, we're so much more, it, but yeah, it, so much more. So, so the, the, the whole scope of this conversation is to share the fact that you're doing a smoothie a day. Your numbers are changing dramatically yeah. on the inside. Yeah. You still have weight coming off, but here's what's really cool. Over here, you have that one of the measurements on this scale is muscle quality. So when you're out walking, and you're doing isometric and strength training and cardiovascular training with walking and movement, you're building muscle and that muscle quality is, is uh, improving. And of course, when your muscles build, they get heavier. So as your muscles get heavier and you're burning fat, you're get a, per a person could see that change on this scale, correct? Yes. yes. In terms Very of cool. increased weight. Exactly. And decreased fat. Exactly. And decreased but metabolic you don't age. see that because like even like myself, like I should know better, you know, I, but I shut down. I meet, I saw that my, the scale went up and that yeah. was it. I didn't even look at the rest of the numbers. I didn't right. look at the rest. Well, it's because you are, we have been habitual lifetime scale dieters, yo-yo dieters. Scale jockeys. Scale jockeys, yo-yo dieters. And it's really yeah. hard to break that. It is. That, tra that scale trauma. But this smart scale sounds like it's so much more and can really help you reprogram your brain into knowing that there's a lot of other measurements besides the, your, yeah, but I still your, can't uh, recommend, you know, uh, doing it more than, you know, once a month, maybe not, yeah. you know, enough. 
you know, right. but not twice a day. God, well, no. Yeah, you're going to you know? take, it's going to take a 30s, at least 30 days to have your body change if you're going to do a smoothie a day. Yeah. And the healing that happens, the bone, I mean, bone density, think about if you break your arm, how long does it take for the bone to heal, you know, to grow back? I mean, I, I spent from October, November, and half of December in a boot because I had three fractures in my left foot. So, you know, and I've I felt multiple so bad x-rays. For you. Oh, it was awful. So anyway, I don't even talk about it. <laughs> so this smoothie a day is absolutely something that I want to incorporate into my lifestyle. I used to do it. And then the whole don't drink your calories, just by following you and touching base with you these last six months as uh, I remember you talking to me after we were so excited that you finally got to go see Dr. Deneyev and then you were so apprehensive and I actually kind of had to talk you into it say oh you know I started doing them again but not religiously but now six yeah. months later you're glowing you've yeah. lost inches you've lost weight you've reversed internal age your bone I just think that it's so fabulous that your bone density has not only reversed, but improved. So that's just, that's just fabulous to me, Jean. Yep. So, I so I think part of this is that Wonderful. it's a journey, yep. you know, and every body, every person is a little bit different yeah, and their journey can be a little bit different. Absolutely. And some people, you know, as we peel back the layers of the onion, as we talked about, you learn like you can't handle caffeine. I can't handle salt. You can handle salt. I can't handle salt in any right. way, shape or form, That's but right. I can handle caffeine. You can't. So no, caffeine's a deal breaker. It makes me yeah. wide awake. So I think, yeah. you know, it's just part of this is learning about our body and, and adjusting. And I think also too, as we're going through this journey and learning about this and learning different pieces of it because we're, it's like little pieces of a puzzle, you know, that we're putting together. Very so, much so. It is a journey. It's an, it's a true trial and error. And I just, anytime that we can learn from one another and again, your six months uh, journey with this smoothie a day is just, it's fascinating to me. And now that you have a scale that will actually show you the results that you wouldn't get normally. Now a person could, a person could go and get a bone density scan, correct? Yeah. I yeah. heard those are a little pricey. I'm not sure. But um, so say a person who has osteoporosis or has some bone density issues, we maybe we could say, hey, call your doctor, get a bone density scan. Maybe you've had one recently and you start incorporating a very, very, very green smoothie per day. Get it scanned again in six months and see what happens. So I have a question for you real quick in closing. Is one green better than the other? Tell me about the, the and people who listen, what's your green of choice in your smoothie? Usually I use kale and spinach. Those okay. are the two main. Easy but available. Easily available, but sometimes, you know, and again, it depends upon availability. You know, I usually try and get fresh, but I have kept frozen as well because it just makes it easier to dump it in and I it love keeps it. forever. So, yeah. you know, I tend to buy maybe about three days of greens. Now that's 16 ounces of greens for one smoothie. So that's a lot of greens to store yeah. in your fridge. So, so any tips for the, for the viewers? I mean, are you buying? So buy three days of the bag stuff, Oh, you know, that's fresh. Uh -huh. And then I'll buy a couple of days of frozen because I'm not going out to the store, but once a week. Right. So, you know, the greens only last, you know, right. have a shelf life for so long. So yeah. I keep about, you know, about three days for the fresh stuff and then about three days of the frozen. And by are then I'm using... usually going to the store. Are you using organic? Oh, of course. That's all I yeah. use. You yeah. Know. Yeah. You I should. mean, you without should. question, I mean, if you have not seen it, the interview that I did or seen the movie Secret Ingredient. Oh, I did. Yeah. Yes. And if you saw yeah. the interview. I bought that. I, that. With, I bought it. Yeah. And if you yeah. saw, I did the interview with Jeffrey Smith. Oh, yeah. my. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Yeah. It's I mean, pretty scary out there. there. Pretty so, scary out there. Organic, organic if I can't get it organic, I just don't, 
I rarely buy it if it's not organic. I have to really, really want something like, you know. And then you need to make darn sure it's at least non-GMO. Yes, without that's question. The, that's organic, non-GMO, don't buy. That's right. that's our philosophy anyway. Yep. So for sure. Well, thank you, Jean, and thank you for sharing your journey, your yeah. smoothie a day journey with us. I'm really excited to adopt this and get my Vitamix revved up again. And you know, we're all facing challenging times now with the pandemic. Yes. And I really like that you shared that you use frozen because frozen greens have just as much nutrients as fresh from what i understand is that yep. still a thing is that true that, that is true because they're Good. picked at the height of, of the peak of ripeness and they're flash frozen so it's win-win in my book perfect so awesome i mean especially in this time that we're trying to build up i mean our immunity and yes. you know and boost that because if you've not seen i did an interview with Lorraine sire who her I whole did. family got COVID 19 and they Love all did just, the kids almost had no symptoms. You know, her parents, her elderly parents had very, you know, they all, you know, had fevers, things like that, but they all had no issues and they're all plant-based. So they had like very, very little, you know, side Aren't effects they like or issues. they in their light, late 60s, 70s and they well, still did well? What was interesting was her mom, who was, who had reversed, you know, she was scheduled to go in for a triple bypass. But Remember couldn't that. because her kidneys were such had such issues, and she was type two diabetic and sleep pap and just a, you know a host of other or ailments, and she reversed all of that, lost about forty five pounds. So she did. She was in the midst of all of these people being sick, and she didn't get it. Okay, she was being sneezed, coughed, hacked. You know, it was she was right there. Didn't she was get being it. assaulted with the virus at exactly all, at but, all terms. Yeah. But she had her type, and there was something that was coming out of China that type O blood I heard that. was more resistant to it. Mm -hmm. And she did, but the, everybody else did not have type O in the house and got it. And she didn't. Now, she was probably one of the sickest, you know, at one point, sick, the most sickest, you know, dealing with all these health issues. But she had reversed all of that before going into to this. So fabulous wow. interview with them. So we yeah, definitely highly recommend Good one. I, I watched it. It was very good. I actually shared it in Plant Based Chico. So yeah. it's a, it's very powerful testimony to plant based living. Somebody who had the virus, who's whole food plant based, and expands yeah. multi generations and age groups. So that's yep. what's really cool too. So yeah. thank you, Jean. I will from starting after our thirty day challenge that's going on in Plant Based Chico weight loss. I will start on June July first. My smoothie a day campaign thank you to you and dr denea have a wonderful day everybody and Jean, it was so nice being able to uh, talk with you again and uh, we'll have to do it again clearly awesome well you know we'll re we'll make a date for the end of the year so a whole year of your smoothies and we'll see what happens with me in six months with uh, smoothies and i'm gonna go buy that scale i All think right. that is a great investment and Maybe you could put the link to the website in the notes. Awesome. Night, everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Night, John Boy. Bye. Bye, Mary Ellen.